What's up, my insane raccoon army? How are you guys doing today? Today, we're gonna be doing something I haven't done in a while. It's a motherfucking wish hole! So I have not done a wish haul in like fully, I think almost a year. Uh, it was like one of the first videos that I got that actually, I did that actually got like more than 20 views. <laughs> uh, so I figured that it would be due time to do another wish haul because I was seeing things on wish that I was like, that looks motherfucking cute. Uh, so I want it. Uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure you head on over to my Instagram and check out my Instagram. I am releasing all kinds of great new photos right now, specifically when this is being uploaded. Um, so you guys can go check that out. And for a lot of people asking about my Link cosplay that I do, no, it's not Photoshop. Those are prosthetic ears. I attach them to my head. If you guys wanna see how I do prosthetics and all that stuff, if you guys would like to see that better, because I know I did some prosthetic work in my devil makeup tutorial, uh, but if you guys want to see like real prosthetics, how those are done, like more like silicone based things, uh, just leave a comment down below. Let me know if that's what you want to see. If you guys want to see that, then I'll obviously do that for you guys. But otherwise, I don't have any plans to. So let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, let's jump right into this wish haul. So I will be sticking like the screenshot of the thing. Cause I don't remember how much these things actually were, uh, but they were probably, they were dollars. Like I don't think I bought anything over like six dollars. So, okay, first thing. I got was this Venom hat. I really like Venom. You guys know I like Venom. By the time this uploads, there will be a full body Venom makeup look on my Instagram. The little like shave retainer that's in like the front of the bill of the hat or like the front of the hat that's usually like right here. Still out. This is not a shape retainer. Look at that. It's like, this is like paper, like, like cardstock, usually it's like a thick cardboard that holds the shape. That's like cardstock, so that's obviously okay. I've got it together today. Um, that's obviously just something they put in there to simulate what like hats that you buy, that nice hats you buy, are like. Um, so this is one of my nicer hats. This is a Legend of Zelda hat. Um, I have other DC hats. Let me go grab a DC hat. Hold on. All right, so this is a DC hat. I know that Venom is Marvel, but obviously this is not made by Marvel, not officially licensed Marvel materials. Uh, this is officially licensed Nintendo, and this is officially licensed DC. Um, and like immediately, like between these two, these two feel very similar, but this one immediately does feel different. Like just so you know, it doesn't look different. Like when I'm looking at them and like side by side, they don't look any different. Like honestly, like they look, just as good quality as each other. It's kind of weird. Um, but they feel totally different. Like if you were like looking at this on my head or something, you would not think that this looked like, like bad. Um, they immediately feel different. Like these feel like they're made out of like, like a high quality material. And like the stitching feels like really good on this. Um, I feel like if I threw this, these, I throw these in the wash all the time and they look fine. Uh, I feel like if I stuck this in a, in the wash or something, it would totally just like all the color would come out or something or it would fall apart. Um, the bill feels like, so the bills on these are like really hard and dense. Whereas the ones on these are like, it, it, well, it sounds the same, but it's like, they're much more, it's much more pliable. It feels more like a curved hat, you know, where they're like movable and flexy as opposed to a flat bill that's supposed to be like hard. That is so weird. It is like bent in the weirdest place. But all in all, I don't hate this. I think it's still a cute hat and I'll probably still wear it. This is a flask. Okay, so this is a coffin flask that I ordered. Let's look at this. Look how cute this is! I love this. Um, it's really, really like reflective chrome. Makes my face look weird. I'm looking in the mirror. It feels like really good quality. It doesn't have any smells to it or anything. Like a lot of times you get things from Wish and they have like a really chemically smell. This doesn't, so that's nice. Uh, it doesn't smell like bleach or chemicals or anything. 
Um, it doesn't have any smell at all. And it feels like... It feels like actually like pretty good quality. Like this actually, this is like, feels like a dense metal, like... Okay, I feel like this is a win. I don't know how much I paid for it. It'll be listed right here like the rest of them, but... Um, no, this is a win. This feels good. That's that feels like two wins to me. I don't know. This, this one's this one's like a 75% because it just feels really fucking cheap, but it looks very realistic. Whereas this one, like, it feels nice. It feels like a flask. This really does feel like a flask. Like, I have a lot of flasks. Anyway, it feels like a flask. <laughs> Um, and it feels like a high quality flask, like a flask I would buy like at like Spencer's or Hot Topic or something like Where they have like all they have like dumb shit like this. Um, it feels like something I would get from there. So win So the next thing I got is A necklace It looks like any necklace you get at like Claire's or something Is that still a store? Or did millennials kill that too? I don't know. Someone tell me if Claire's is still a store. Real talk, I mean, it feels like an aluminum or something. Like, it, this really does feel like a necklace from Claire's. If Claire's is still a thing, um, this feels like a necklace from Claire's. Like the little like $3, $2 necklaces you get from Claire's. But I mean like, for like a $2 necklace, it doesn't feel like, I, this feels like something I would expect to get for like a $2 necklace. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like, <laughs> Like, this is, like, a terrible... Depending on how much this is, I don't remember how much this is. It might have been, I hope it wasn't 4 or $5. This doesn't feel like $5. This feels like a $2 necklace. Um, price. Um, this feels like a $2 necklace, yeah. But, like, if it was $2, it was a good buy. If it was $5, it was not. <laughs> Depending on how much this costs, it's a win or not. Um, that's 50-50. I'm not upset with this. Will I probably wear this? Uh, maybe, I don't know. This cute, it's really small and very, very dainty. Next thing is this. This is a like bike chain um, bracelet. Uh, it feels nice. Like this feels like like good quality. Like I feel like I'd actually like, have to like work if I wanted to break this. It feels, it's like kind of heavy. It's not bad. I don't hate this. I like this. This is cute. I will probably wear this. Like I'm not even like high key, not even gonna lie. Like. I don't hate this at all. I'd say this is a win. Ooh, and here is an Ursula necklace that I got. Uh, I have an Ursula cosplay. If you guys have been following me for a while, I haven't worn it. Oh, it comes with a little bag. I have an Ursula cosplay there, so I like, I saw this on there and it was, I think, free 90 free paper shipping. And I think that's what I ended up getting, um, or something like that. We'll find out. Um, regardless of what I paid for this, this is, like, solid. Like, like, I could not break this if I tried. But this would be a great, like, this would be a great thing to add to my Ursula cosplay, I feel like. Because I've got, I paint my whole body purple, and I got these big tentacles, and, like, an armored piece, and the, uh, gray mohawk, but the only thing I was missing was a, um, shell necklace. But now I have one! Um, this was a, this is a win. Like, honestly, this is a win. Now, I did have, uh, I, I had had ordered another, um, item. So I had ordered six things, but one of them just never showed up. Uh, but fortunately, I was able to reach out to Wish and say, hey, this item never showed up, and they refunded me the whole, like, whatever, two dollars or whatever. Um, but that was very fortunate and lucky thing about Wish is that they have great customer service, so if something doesn't show up or something shows up broken, you just reach out to the customer service about the item and they will either replace it or refund you, so that was pretty great. These all kind of feel like wins to me. Like, this one is kind of iffy, and this one's like, it's good unless you touch it. Like, it doesn't feel bad on my head, but like, on my hand, I can feel that it's a cheap hat. <laughs> um, but they're all pretty much wins to me. One item didn't show up, but I did get refunded for it, so like, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, I wish I had gotten it though, because it was a really cool bracelet. Oh well, I'll post that right there. This is what it looked like. 
Um, wish I had gotten it, but I didn't, and that's all there is to it. Uh, so, what do you guys think? Do you guys think Wish is worth it or not worth it? Uh, in my two videos, I think there was only one item from my last haul that didn't work out. And none of these items don't work out, uh, just one didn't show up. Um, and this one does feel a little bit, like, flimsy, but... Do you guys want to see more Wish Hauls like this? Uh, do you guys want to see another Wish Haul? I might do one in, like, a few more months. Um, do you guys want to see challenges or something out of me? I know a lot of you guys like my mukbangs and story times and Q&As and stuff like that. Uh, which I will definitely continue to do. Tell me what you guys want to see down in the comments down below. I'm having a great time making things that you guys want to see. This is just something that I planned for months and months and months, waiting for everything to show up. And I guess it all finally did, except for the thing. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Head on over to all my social medias. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram. I want a special shout out to all my patrons over at Patreon who support me. Uh, I have one, five, ten, and fifteen dollar options for Patreon. My Patreon is an equity-based Patreon, meaning no matter what tier you select, you get access to all the content. I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces!